Okay, so I believe this is day, it's going to be day 49. Um, and we're going to continue on. Um, where did we leave off? Right, so what did we need to work on? We need to work on the completing the square and solve equations using structure. So let's, okay. 3, 14, 18. So let's start off with what they're recommending. Oops, you're at the top. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, solving equations using structure. All right, let's watch that. Let's try to find the solutions to this equation right over here. We have the quantity 2x minus 3 squared, and that is equal to 4x minus 6. And I encourage you to pause the video and give it a shot. And I'll Okay, so what I recall from last time was that this part here we're going to use. Um, and right, we're going to want two x's again, right, because we have a parabola as indicated by the power here. So we have 2x minus 3 squared equals, uh, pull out a 2 from here and a 2 from here. So we get 2 times 2x minus 3. Um, and we what do we want to do? Oh, I used triangles, I think, yesterday. Yes. Why did I do that? To make... To, rem to make it a little easier to see. Um, so today I'll just use... I know you can't see any of this. But um, I'll just use stars. So I have star squared um, is equal to 2 star. Subtract over, so you get star squared minus 2 times star is equal to 0. Um, okay, we can factor out a star. And we get star minus 2 equal to zero. So either star is equal to zero or um, star minus two is equal to zero. And what is star? Well, now we can replace what the stars was. And it's two x minus three equals zero or 2x minus 3 minus 2 equals 0. So we get 2x equals 3, 2x equals 5, x equals 3 over 2, and x equals 5 over 2. So those are the two x's. I'll give you a little bit of a hint. You could do this in the traditional way of expanding this out, but there might, and then turning it into a kind of a classic quadratic form. But there might be a faster or a simpler way to do this if you really pay attention to the structure of both sides of this equation. Well, let's look at this. We have 2x minus 3 squared on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we have 4x minus 6. The 4x minus 6, that's just 2 times 2x minus 3. Let me be clear there. So this is the same thing as 2x minus 3 squared is equal to 4x minus 6. If I factor out a 2, that's 2 times 2x minus 3. And so this is really interesting. We have something squared is equal to 2 times that something. 
So if we can solve for the suffix, it would be very clear. So the stuff in blue squared is equal to two times the stuff in blue. So if we can solve for what the stuff in blue could be equal to, then we can solve for x. And I'll show you that right now. So let's say, let's just replace 2x minus 3. We'll do a little bit of a substitution. Let's replace that with, let's replace it with p. So let's say that p, p is equal to Ah, uh, yeah, so he uses p. Well, p quite nicely. The left -hand and I just use p star. P I don't know. Uh, two times two times Sometimes it's easier for me to conceptually see that it's just a placeholder when I'm not using letters. We can write this as we subtract two p from both sides. The variables squared minus two p is equal to zero, and we can factor out a p, so we get p times p minus two is equal to zero. And we've seen this show multiple times. If I have a product of two things that are equal to zero, at least one of them needs to be equal to zero. So either p is equal to zero or p minus two is equal to zero. So if p minus two is equal to zero, that means p is equal to two. So either p equals zero or p equals two. But we're not quite done yet because we wanted to solve for x, not for p. But luckily, we know that two x minus three is equal to p. So now we can say either either two x minus three is going to be equal to this p value, so equal to zero, or two x minus three is going to be equal to this p value, so going to be equal to p two. So this is pretty straightforward to solve. Add three to both sides. You get two x is equal to three. Divide both sides by two, and we get x is equal to three halves. Or over here, if we add three to both sides, you get two x is equal to five. Divide both sides by two, and you get x is equal to five halves. So these are the possible solutions. And this is pretty neat. This one right over here, you can almost do this in your head. It's, it's, it was nice and simple. Well, if you were to expand this out and then subtract it, it would have been a much more uh, complex set of operations that you would have done. You still would have hopefully gotten to the right answer. However, we're just taking a lot more steps. And here we can appreciate some patterns that we saw in our equation. Right? Namely, we have this thing being squared, and we have two times that same thing. Two times okay. that same thing. Okay. Do I need to do a next video? What is the next video? Ooh, it. <laughs> Ooh, it. Okay, all right, all right. Completing the square. Yeah, let's do some of those practice. Oh, should have done this practice. Let's start this action. Oops, this. Get out of here. Okay. So we have let m equals mx minus two. Which equation is equivalent? In terms of m. What? <laughs> okay. Um, what? What? Whoa. Which equation is equivalent to this in terms of M? Oh. oh, okay. Well, I didn't mean to click on one, but okay. So, okay. What we do is I'm going to write each one of these out and leave a spot for the M's and just plug this in. So, for A, we get. 5x minus 2 squared plus 7 5x minus 2 minus 2 equals 0. Ah, uh, you know what? Mm -hmm. Instead of doing them all, let's try to do this first. So we have it's 5x minus 2 squared plus 35x minus 12, oh, minus 14 plus 12 equals 0. So we get 5x minus 2 squared plus 35x minus 2 equals 0. Mm. Okay, so we need it to equal this one here. Okay, so uh, 
Yikes. Um, actually leaning towards this one because we get 35x minus 14 uh, wait minus 14 negative 35 oh it's pot wait okay so it can't be So these are all going to be the same. These are all don't matter. All right, they're all going to be this. So that's good. That's out of the way. Don't have to look at that first part. But the second part where you have these numbers, I guess if you pulled out a 7 here, Seven, you get um, five x minus two. Yeah, minus fourteen plus twelve equals zero. Whoa, something went wrong somewhere. What happened? Um, but it's got to be positive, right? Can't be these negatives here. Got to be positive because seven's got to be positive. Oh, but that 14 is bundled. So that's not good. So we just add 12, positive. It's got to be positive and pause this. Cool. Find one value of x that is a solution to the equation. Um, well, yikes. Are these the same? I guess I could pull that out. So, geez, always. So it's x squared plus 4 squared minus 11 times x squared plus 4 plus 24 equals 0. Well, pulling that out, you get x squared plus 4 times x squared plus 4 minus 11 plus 24 0 so we get x squared plus 4 times x squared plus 3 plus 24 equals 0 um, Hmm. Oh, minus 11. Okay. Negative 7. No, that's not any more helpful. <laughs> Um. 
that gives us x to the fourth minus 7x squared plus 4x squared minus 28 plus 24 equals 0 is x to the fourth minus 3x squared minus 4 is equal to 0 negative 4 uh, maybe negative 4 to negative 3 so hmm. 2 times so we get 4 negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 and, and add together they're negative 3 so that works as x to the fourth you remember, remember what I want to do negative 1x or positive 1x squared minus 4x squared minus 4 is equal to 0 let's group them let's pull on the x squared we get x squared plus 1 Pull out a negative 4, get x squared plus 1, and get x squared minus 4, and x squared plus 1 equals 0. So, <sighs> x squared minus 4 is also equal to x plus 2 x minus 2 and x squared plus 1 is that a perfect square x no x plus 1 x plus 1 No, no, no. Okay, so we have x squared plus 1. Set them all equal to 0. We get x plus 2 is equal to 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. x squared um, is equal to negative 1. Just um, subtracting 1 from both sides. Ooh, can I do that? No, because I can't have a negative under the radical. So it's either uh, it's either x plus two or x minus two is equal to zero. So one of them's gotta be a two. All right, cool. Find one value. Geez, these are difficult. These are difficult. Okay. We got 2x plus 3 squared. 2x plus 3 squared minus 6x minus 9. Okay, well, let's group this. Uh, let's take a 3 out of, of these guys right here. So we have 2x plus 3. Ooh, should I have done that over there? Oh, ooh. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's pull out a negative 3. Or whatever. Yeah, negative 3. So this is... 2x plus 3. Okay, perfect. Now we can use the star method if you want, but I'm just going to try to actually no, I'll just pull out the 2x plus 3. So you have 2x plus 3 pulled out to the front 
and you're left with um, 2x plus 3 minus 3 equal to 0. So you're left with 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 or 2x is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 or x is equal to negative 3 halves. Well, I'm tempted to put in 0. But I think negative 3 halves will be the safer bet. Negative 3 halves. Yeah. What if I, can I go back and put in 0? Okay, no. <laughs> the P equals blah, blah, blah. Okay. So... Blurg, blurg, blurg. Um, five. Well, so let's write it down. Three x plus four squared minus thirty six is equal to fifteen x. Plus 20. 15x plus 20, we could pull out a 5, 5, and we get 3x plus 4. That's helpful because we have a 3x plus 4 right here. Um, 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 um. Let's bring that over. So we have 3x plus 4 squared minus 5 times 3x plus 4 minus 36 equal to 0. <clears throat> um, let's factor out a 3x plus 4 and then we are left with 3x plus 4 minus 5. The whole thing minus 36 is equal to 0. Um, Three x plus four times three x minus one minus thirty six equal to zero. <sighs> Let's combine the terms. We get nine x squared minus three x plus twelve x minus four minus thirty six is equal to zero. 9x squared plus 9x minus 40 is equal to 0. Hmm. That 40 there. Get in my way. Um, 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 um. Hmm. Well, negative 40 times 9 is negative 360, and you're left with 9. That's not possible, is it? Uh, 360 divided by. Mm -hmm. 360 divided by 360. We got 
zero. No, we got one. Three sixty. Three and one twenty. Nine and forty. Thirty and twelve. Sixty uh, twenty times eighteen. No, fifteen and twenty four. Twenty four minus fifteen is nine. So we got 15 and 24. So negative 15, positive 24. So we got what in the heck? <laughs> uh, work, 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 work. Okay. Well, both can do by by three. So weird. Okay, nine x squared. I'm gonna try negative fifteen x plus twenty four x minus forty. Group. Pull out a three. Get three x minus. Uh, put whoa. Three x. Yeah. Pull out a 3x minus 5. Pull out a cheese. Okay. 40. Pulling out an 8. We get 3x minus 5. Wow, look at that. So we get 3x plus 8 times 3x minus 5 is equal to zero, so 3x is equal to negative 8 and or 3x is equal to 5. So we get x is equal to negative 8 over 3 or x is equal to 5 thirds. Why did I just do that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Okay kind of got carried away there. What am I looking for? I'm looking for something similar. So, hmm. Ah, geez. So it's going to be negative, so it's one of these. It's this one at the bottom. Yeah. That was line two of all that madness. Okay. Completing the square. What's the missing constant in the perfect square? Oh god. <sighs> x squared minus 8x plus c. So C times negative eight is equal to A times A. 
Well, that seems impossible because how can you times two things together and get a negative number? So annoying. It can't. What is what is the missing constant term in the perfect square? The star system. Oh my god! I don't know. Eight squared. Yes. Sixty-four. I'm gonna need to watch a video. Again. Then write the expression as the square of a binomial. So we have x squared minus 44x plus c. So how do we make this into a perfect square? Well, if you just look at the traditional pattern for a perfect square, let's just think of it in terms of x plus a squared. That's the same thing as x plus a times x plus a. We've seen this before. And if you were to multiply this out, that's x times x, which is x squared, plus x times a, which is ax, plus a times x, which is ax, plus a times a, which is a squared. So it's x squared Whoa. plus 2ax, 2ax, AX plus AX plus two AX. Okay, this is what a perfect square is. So I want, let's back it up. I don't want his prompting other than, okay, well. X plus A squared. There. So let's see if we can derive it now. So we want something that looks like x plus a squared. So x plus a times x plus a is x squared plus 2a plus a squared. Oh my god, that's awesome because what do we have here is negative 8, right? But if we have 2, we divide that by 2. So we get negative 4 is our a, because 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. So we have negative 4 squared, 16. Ooh. Awesome. That was cool. Okay. Let's try another one. So we get x squared plus 12. Whoa, minus, minus, minus. Minus 12x plus c. And we want it in the form of x plus a squared, which is just, because that's a perfect square, x plus a squared, right? We have two uh, pair of binomials. Wait, are they binomials? Maybe. And we get x squared plus 2a again plus a squared. So what times 2 gets us negative 12. That's negative 6. So negative 6 squared is 36. Awesome. What's a quicker way to do this? So we have this term. We have no, what are they called? Coefficients at the front of the x squared. So 
essentially I've just been dividing this by 2, whatever that number is, putting it squared. So divide by 2 is 9, square it, 81. Awesome. Divide by 2 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, or 1 squared is 1. Got him. Cool. Uh, intermediate. <laughs> intermediate level. So that's got to be 5, right? Uh, what the fuck? Plus C is 25. It's right there. Uh, so minus 25 and <laughs> what's going on 2 a eh? yeah it's got to be right no it's got to be wrong why clear the squares what Oh, whoa, wait, x plus 5, x plus 5, x squared plus 10x plus 25, equal to 0, gosh, dang it, all right, why is guy, negative 2, Divide by two. What is what's going on over here? Oh, it's so confusing. Okay, so what? Let's forget about this and write this as a perfect square format. So we got x squared minus four x plus 70, well, let's, plus C, plus C, and then we'll do plus 70 off to the side there, because we got X plus A squared, and we get X plus A times X plus A, and we get X squared plus 2A plus A squared. So we get negative 2, for our a, which means x squared minus 4x plus 4 is our perfect square. It's not plus 4, it is what the heck? <laughs> What's going on? We have plus 70. What's that? <laughs> okay. This x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to x minus 2 squared uh -huh. so I took 4 I stole 4 from him to give him, give the perfect square and then I and I booted this guy out of here. I took him over here and I'm like, you stand over here. <laughs> stand over here. Uh, what I make stand over here? I made 66. I turned this, I'm like, you 66, you stand over here. And I'm gonna give this a four so that I can make this right here. Minus two. So, to make this whole again, to add 
bring that 66 back in. Ah, cool. <laughs> All right. Same dealio with this. So we got a two, two squared. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Okay. I'm gonna need to write it out. I'm trying to do it in my head. There's no reason to do that. X squared plus four X. Then we want to write it as x plus a squared format. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Well, divide by 2 to get your a. And you get x plus 2 squared. And what happens when you do x plus 2 squared? You get x plus 2 times x plus 2, which is x squared plus 4x plus 4. So, so what? So what? So freaking what? What's that mean? Blah, 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 blah. Equal to zero. So we know this is two. <sighs> well, crap. Okay. Well, we gotta put a four over here, I think, because this has an extra four on it. And if we want to subtract, yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so what I did was I compared the two. So let's, we have this one, right? Nothing on it, no C. But if we expand this, we get x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Well, we need a 4 on the other side to balance it out if we want these two to be equivalent, right? Because subtract 4, subtract 4, get 0. And we just get this. All right. After this, we'll move on to the quiz. All these pens are dying. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Going to banish him. Banish. Um, so we get x squared plus 6x. Divide by 3. Are so whoa, divided by two we get three. Square it, we get nine. Well, where do we get that nine? We gotta take it from that eighty seven. And that eighty seven turns into a seventy eight. So we have x squared plus six x plus nine. What is that equal to? Well that's equal to x plus 3 squared plus 78. Ba boom. Okay. Um no. Ooh. Okay, maybe we should do these. Yikes. Yikes. Uh <laughs> What can I, can I, 81 is not divisible by 4. No. La, 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 la. But, mm, 
see, uh -huh. divide by nine. Mm. Nine, nine. That might work. So we get mm. what do I want to do? Let's try something. If it doesn't work, I'll try something else. 36x plus 81. See those are divisible by 9. So let's pull out a 9. Minus 9, 4x plus 9. Was that helpful in any way? <laughs> no. Was it? No. No, that was not helpful. What was the other thought I had? Oh, well, let's try to do the same thing where we banish him for a little bit. Do that. And let's do x plus a squared is equal to x squared plus 2a plus a squared. Um, and let's divide out a 4 there. 4, 4x. Ooh, should we be doing that? Should I be doing that? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> um, ba 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 so, ba so. Okay, so maybe it's a 2x plus a, which gives us is that still a perfect square? Yeah, it's just the same thing twice, right, for a perfect square, right, because a square has two of the same sides, so 2x plus a times 2x plus a get 4x squared plus, whoa, 2, what the, two, huh, 2x, eh, huh, The hell? Why the hell did I get two A before? Oh, two A X. Jeez, wow. Wait, what? So I doing those other ones wrong, but they came out correct. That was weird. Okay, going crazy. <laughs> um, let's see here. Two X two A X plus two A X plus A squared. So we got four X squared plus four A X plus A squared. And what? gets us negative 36 
negative 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. 9 squared is 81. Oh. So that's already a perfect square then. So this is our perfect square. 2 times um, uh, uh, what did I say it was? <laughs> Negative 9. And, oh, wait, 81. Wait a sec. Okay, got 2x, minus 9, 2x minus 9, and you get 4x squared minus 18x minus 18x plus 81 negative 18, so you get 4x squared minus 36x plus 81. Well, this is zero then. We don't need any more. We already got the 81. What? Yeah. What? Negative nine over two. Four. Oh no. How do we do these? Completing the square to find the roots of the quadratic equation. That's not equation. what I want. Oh. So let's see if we can solve this quadratic no. equation right over here. Let's see if we can yes. take this quadratic expression here, x squared plus 16x plus 9, and write it in this form. And you might be saying, hey, Sal, why, why do I even need to worry about this? And one, it is just good algebraic practice to be able oh, to do no. Let's see if we can take this quadratic expression here, x squared plus 16x plus 9, and write it in this form. And you might be saying, hey, Sal, why, why do I even need to worry about this? And one, it is just good algebraic practice to be able to manipulate things. But as we'll see in the future, what we're about to do is called completing the square. And it's a really valuable technique for solving quadratics, and it's actually the basis for the proof of the quadratic formula, which you will, use, which you will learn in the future. So it's actually a pretty interesting technique. Ooh. So how do we write this in this form? Well, one way to think about it is if we expanded this x plus a squared, we know if we square x plus a, it would be x squared plus 2a x plus a squared, and then you still have that plus b right over there. So one way to think about it is, let's take this expression, this x squared plus 16x plus 9. I'm just going to write it with a little few spaces in it. x squared plus 16x and then plus 9, just like that. And so if we say, all right, we have an x squared here, we have an x squared here. If we say that 2ax is the same thing as that, then what's a going to be? So if this is 2a times x, well, that means 2a is 16, or that a is equal to 8. And so if I want to have an a squared over here, well, if a is 8, I would add a, I would add an 8 squared, which would be a 64. Well, I can't just add numbers willy-nilly to an expression without changing the value of an expression. So if I don't want to change the value of the expression, I still need to subtract 64. Oh, so that that's an easier way to think of it. I original expression, and I added 64, and I subtracted 64. So I have not changed the value of that expression. But what was valuable about me doing that is now this first part of the expression. 
this part right over here. It fits the pattern of, what, of a perfect square quadratic right over here. We have x squared plus 2ax, where a is 8, plus a squared, 64. Once again, how did I get 64? I took half of the 16, and I squared it to get to the 64. And so the stuff in this that I just squared off, this is going to be x plus 8 squared. Mm. x plus 8 squared. Once again, I know that because a is 8. a is 8. So this is x plus 8 squared. And then all of this business on the right-hand side, what is 9 minus 64? Well, 64 minus 9 is 55, so this is going to be negative 55, so minus 55. And we're done. We've written this expression in this form, and it's also called completing the square. All right. So let's go back. Hey. Hey. Pum, 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 pum. Uh, all right. Let's get... Can I hide these? All right. Well... Just want to look at them. <laughs> so let's go back. Lock and loaded with that. You get 4x squared minus 36x. Putting that 81 off to the side. How are we going to make this a perfect square right here? Well, wow, wow, wow. We got to look at x plus a squared um, plus b. We're getting x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. We got our b. Well, Wow, wow, wow. Uh, four. What's going on? Well, we want to get one here to divide by. One fourth? Well, no. Terms four. Pulling out a 4. What if I just pulled out that 4 and left it out there? x squared minus 9 plus 81 over here. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just trying to do... Okay, so that changes things. So... Negative nine at negative nine x. So, I want to do completing the square for negative 9x. So, we already pulled out that 4. That's going to be out here. Now, we want to complete the square for x squared minus 9x. Uh, Divide by two. So we get plus negative nine divided by two squared. Just complete the square, uh, which is nine divided by two. Square that, 81 over 4. So we get 4 times x squared minus... Whoa, wait. No, no, wait. <laughs> minus a is equal to negative 9 over 2. Okay. But we still have... 
9x and we are adding 81 over 4 which means we have to subtract 81 over 4 from our 81 that we banished out here. So this is negative 9 divided by 2 and this is whatever 81 minus 81 fourths is 200 and oh, let's kind of convert that 60.75 no rude what do you want do you want 243 divided by 4 Yeah. Uh, what? Why? Uh, ooh. Oh. Why is that? <laughs> it's because we're adding something inside. So that's being multiplied by 4. So whatever's on the outside also needs to be multiplied by 4. Yikes. So the denominator cancels out, and we're left with a zero. So this should be a zero. OK, let's not screw this one up. OK. Four x squared plus twenty x plus twenty five equals zero. Well, who cares about that twenty five? Not us. So we're gonna pull out a four x squared plus five x uh, plus something. And we add 25 and we subtract 4 times C. What's a C? Well, it's A is equal to 5 over 2. 5 divided by 2 squared is 6.25 uh, which is well no don't write it like that they're not going to be pleased <laughs> which is 25 over 4 so we have 4 times x squared plus 5x plus 25 over 4 plus our original 25 minus 4 times 25 over 4 Denominator, numerator cancel out, we get a zero, we get a four, we get an x plus five over two. And a zero. There we go. There we go. Okay. 2x squared plus 3x. Get that pathetic 2 out of here. 
harsh. <laughs> okay. Um, well, what do we do? We could divide by two, so three divided by two. We get we'll pull out a two here. We get x squared plus three over two x plus something minus two. Uh, if we're adding something to it. We gotta subtract something times two c. Okay. Um, 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 um. Okay, so we want, we're dividing the 3 halves by 2 to get us an A. Divide by 2. A is equal to 3 fourths to get us our C. Uh, C is equal to A squared. So, square it. Got him. So it's 2 times x squared plus uh, 3 halves x plus 9 sixteenths minus 2 minus 2 times 9 sixteenths. Divide by 2's, we get negative 2 minus 9 over 8. Negative 2 minus 9 over 8, which is 2 times x plus 3 fourths squared minus 25 over 8. Whoa, so that could be right. Yeah. Negative 25, ooh, 25 over 8. 3 divided by 4, 2. Looks weird, but it's right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, one more. Thank God. You can pull out a 4 easily. You get x squared minus 3x plus c. Put that 9 out there. Subtract 4 times C. And let's go. A is equal to negative 3 divided by 2. A is equal to negative 3 divided by 2. C is equal to that squared. Negative 3 divided by 2. We want to square that 9 fourths. We got 4 times x squared minus 3x plus 9 fourths plus 9 minus 4 times 9 divided by 4. Denominator and numerator cancel out 9. You get 9 left. You get 9 minus 9, 0. So we have 4 times x minus 3 halves squared. Minus three halves. Whoa, three halves squared. Zero. Yeah. Awesome. Take the quiz. Take the quiz, yo. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> okay. Um, quiz, trace, what's going on over there on the right side, let's pull out a 10, so we have x squared plus 3, square that, plus a 21, equals 10 times x squared plus 3, we're bringing it over, 
to get x squared plus 3 squared minus 10 times x squared plus 3 plus 21 equals 0. Um, factor around x squared plus 3, x squared plus 3 times x squared plus 3 minus 10 plus 21 equals 0. Get x squared plus 3 times x squared minus 7 plus 21 equals 0. Combining the terms through multiplication, get a x to the 4th minus 7x squared plus 3x squared minus 21 plus 21 equals 0. We get x to the 4th minus 4x squared is equal to 0. Pull on x squared. x squared times x squared minus 4. That's a perfect square. We have x squared times x minus 4 times x plus 4 equals 0. One of the x's is a 4. It's got to be. Oh my god. What the hell went wrong there? Minus 4? What? <sighs> blur, 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 blur. Hmm? What the fuck? Um. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, where, where did I go wrong? What? Um. Okay, this is what I had right here. Then where did I screw it up? Wow. Yep, I'm an idiot. This devolves into twos, not fours. Jesus Christ. God damn it. <laughs> what is it? Missing constant term in a perfect square. Oh, divide by two, two, it's four. It's four. Oh god. I don't want to do this one over. You get negative ninety times negative one. What could it be? Then you got one times nine, you got two times forty five, you got three times thirty, you got five and eighteen, nine and it's obviously nine and ten, <laughs> uh, negative ten, positive nine. Negative ten, positive nine. Oh crap! On a deck. <laughs> what did I do? Why well, keep getting them all wrong? <laughs> I just want to sleep. X squared. Blah blah blah. blah. Minus ten. <laughs> Minus 10x plus 9x plus minus 90. Group them, please. 
get an x x minus 10 pull out a 9 get an x minus 10 you get an x plus 9 you get an x minus 10 you get an x equals negative 9 x equals positive 10 why did I think it was I all right no freaking around this time so we got x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0 negative 10 times 3 what we got we got a 5 minus 2 so we get x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 10 group them please get x times x minus 2 and a 5 times x minus 2 get a 5 plus x and a x minus 2 and get a x equals negative 5 x equals positive 2 don't mess this one up there we go alright <laughs> alright Do 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. Let's pull those 4s. Get an x squared plus 3x plus c. Banish that to a uh, banish that 9. But we gotta subtract a 4c. 4c. A little 4c. Okay. A is equal to 3 divided by 2, which means that C is its squared 3 divided by 2 squared 9 over 4. 9 over 4. 4's cancel. Left with 9. Got a 0 left. So we got 4 times x plus 3 over 2 squared plus 0. 4 times. 3 over 2, x plus 0. Good enough for government work. Not gonna do that one anymore. What? How long? <laughs> Even if it's a slight upward turn. Oh, it is. Yeah. One hour, eight minutes. So good. Okay. We're going to stop it there then. That took a long time. Just to go over those things, but that's okay. I think we got those down now. We'll go over... Uh, quadratic standard form? The quadratic form. Oh, the quadratic formula. Okay, let's front load ourselves with that video. And then we'll. This video, I'm going to actually, no. We're going we're gonna to end it right now. And then tomorrow, we'll come back and start anew. Okay. Let's write that at the top of the next page. The. Quadratic formula. Okay. And my, my, my. okay. Uh, day forty nine. Tomorrow will be day fifty.